I love Marvel Comics, obviously. But even more than that, I love all the different corners of the Marvel Universe. You have your grounded street level heroes protecting your neighborhood from pumpkin bombs. Then you have your dark mystical sorcerers protecting you in your dreams. And finally you have your cosmic galactic entities fighting light years away. But even though Spider-Man and Daredevil are my two favorites, I want to talk about two of those specific corners of the Marvel Universe. Dark Marvel and Cosmic Marvel. Cosmic Marvel is a collection of heroes and villains and stories that take place predominantly in space. These heralds and entities fight light years away in contrast to their earthbound heroes and villains. Usually plot lines that take place in the cosmic side of Marvel have higher stakes. Planetary terror, uh, world domination, earth shattering events, and especially as we saw with Thanos and the MCU absolute annihilation of half of the universe. Marvel started expanding its universe into the cosmos starting in the 1960s. Characters in this subgenre include the Silver Surfer, Galactus, Nova, Moon Dragon, the Guardians of the Galaxy, and even Thor sometimes. Storylines in this subgenre of the universe include the Infinity Gauntlet, Annihilation, King Thanos, and just for fun, I'm even gonna throw in Planet Hulk. So just like we talked about Marvel's space side, now we're gonna talk about its mystical and supernatural side, which is so dope. Marvel had been exploring its supernatural side throughout the 1970s through characters like Son of Satan, Ghost Rider, and Blade. Horror comics had already been a thing since the Golden Age, but they were less popular than their Silver Age counterparts, which relied more on science fiction. Despite the Silver Age being more popular, Characters like Doctor Strange and Mephisto survived through the Silver Age to bring a new wave of dark, sorcery, mysticism-inspired storylines. Characters in this part of the universe often use spells and relics and knowledge of the dark arts to defeat their foes and save the world. I've already talked about a few characters that fall into this subgenre, but I'll also include Elsa Bloodstone, Brother Voodoo, and the Scarlet Witch. Probably my favorite story of all time dealing with this side of Marvel is Doctor Strange and Doctor Doom, Triumph and Torment. Highly recommended, but I also recommend Ghost Rider's Road to Damnation and the current ongoing Ghost Rider series by Marvel Comics. So if you've always read Marvel Comics, or even if you've never read Marvel Comics, you may be wondering which side is more powerful. Most fans would probably first argue that the cosmic side has the more powerful beings the Odin Force, the Celestials, the Living Tribunal, all world-ending forces. But I'd argue that the Vashanti, Shumagorath, Scarlet Witch even, has the power to alter realities and destroy planets as well. So there's never really been a clear answer. All right, so here's what I want you guys to do. I want you to start a discussion in the comments on what side you think would win and why. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you click like on this video so I know that you enjoy it. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.